If you're a beginner, SEO can be a minefield and you may not know where to start. The truth is, it's nowhere near as complicated as you may think. So here is the secret. If you want your website to rank at the top of Google, all you need to do is create quality content on your website visitors will want to read that is also search engine friendly. That's it. In this SEO for beginner tutorial, this is exactly what you're going to learn. So let's go. For your website to be found on Google, you need to figure out what searchers are looking for and match it with the content on your website. The only way to do this is by doing some keyword research. We're going to keep things simple and free here using a Chrome extension. Head over to the Google Chrome Web Store and search for an extension called Keyword Surfer and install it. Once you're done, go to google.com and search for a keyword you'd like your website to rank for. Let's go with teeth whitening Las Vegas, for example, and click on search. Keyword Surfer will overlay the estimated monthly search volume for this particular keyword, along with a click value for it if you were to run a Google ad campaign. On the right hand side of your screen, you'll see a table which contains keyword ideas based on your search. Go through the list and start the ones you think are relevant to your service or product. Don't forget to start the keyword you search for. By default, the tool will search for keywords on the US market. You can change it using the drop down menu next to the flag. Once you're happy with your selection, click on the clipboard option at the top of the table and the three dots and export the file as a CSV. Open the file and save your keywords on a single tab. Repeat this process for each keyword you'd like to rank for and create an additional tab on your Excel spreadsheet where you can copy your keyword selection. By the end of it, you should have a list of the keywords you want to rank for. Once you've completed your research and come up with a list of keywords you'd like to rank for, use it as a foundation to build pages for your website. The aim is to create a single page for each keyword you have identified as being worth targeting, but not any kind of page. If you really want to rank number one on Google for your selected keywords, you're going to need to create outstanding pages. That is what we're going to look at in the next few steps. Even if you are super creative, it's very difficult nowadays to publish content on your site that can't be found anywhere else and will rank on Google. Everything has been written about in one form or another. So instead of reinventing the wheel and trying to come up with original ideas, you are better off trying to outrank your competitors by producing content that offers better value than they do. This is how. Let's say you are a realtor and want to publish an article on your blog to target the keyword best name neighborhood in Austin because it has a decent amount of searches every month and could potentially lend you some leads. Head over to the Google Chrome store and search for an extension called SEO Minion. Then install it on your browser. Make sure you pin it to your toolbar so you can easily access it. Once you've installed SEO Minion, head over to Google and search for your targeted keyword, which in this case is best neighborhood in Austin. Click on the first result, then click on the SEO Minion icon from your toolbar. This will bring up a side panel giving you access to the full SEO analysis of this particular page. There is a ton of useful information in there, but the one option you want to focus on is the one called Analyze on-page SEO. This will break down all the SEO components of this particular page. The one we are interested in is called Headings. The Headings section highlights all the topics being addressed on this page. Click on the download link and open the file in a spreadsheet. You'll see the page structure in detail. Repeat this process with the top 5 to 10 results and bring everything on the same sheet. Remove duplicates, similar topics or irrelevant information across all the results. You will be left with a unique structure for a page that includes more topics related to your target keywords than any of the pages ranked in the top search results combined. You can either write the content for it yourself or get it done by a professional copywriter. This will result in a page that provides outstanding content value. This strategy is very powerful, especially if you run a blog 
and need to create in-depth blog articles that will outrank your competitors. If you're a small business owner, you can also use this method to build pages for the services you provide. However, based on my experience, most of you get stuck with the content creation side of things and I have no idea what kind of content you should add to your pages. Here is what I recommend. For most of you, creating unique and relevant content for your pages is a laborious process and not necessarily an enjoyable one. I get it, it's hard to know what you should write and time consuming. That's why it's not uncommon to see local business owners ripping off content from other websites and claiming it as their own. As a matter of fact, as I was making this video, I discovered that this electrician literally copied entire pieces of content from one of my clients' website and pasted them on his own website. How do I know it's not the other way around? Because I wrote those pages myself. I don't recommend doing this as stolen content is likely to be considered as duplicate by Google and not rank very well. Here is what you can do without breaking a sweat. Add a header on your page that includes your targeted keyword and your location along with a quick introduction. Include the keyword you target within the introduction or a close synonym as well. Make sure the title is wrapped with an HTML tag which tells search engines this is the main title of the page. Add a call to action that is highly visible and high up on the page so visitors can get in touch at a click of a button without having to scroll down the page. This will help increase conversion. Make sure the button is also visible on the mobile version of your site without visitors having to scroll down. Help visitors understand why you are a better option than your competitors by listing your unique selling points. Be mindful of the design, use bullet points or tick marks to make it as impactful as possible and easy to read. Add a relevant hero image at the top of your page that will convey what the page is about. Images help your website rank in Google search, so choose it carefully. Include a small section on what clients can expect when they pay for your services in the form of the method you use, a step-by-step -step description of your procedure or how it works. This will help manage your client's expectations when they decide to choose you, but will also give you another chance to add more contextual keywords and relevance to your page. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then how much is a video worth? Well, apparently 1.8 million words according to a Forrester study. Whether this is true or not, it is pretty evident video content has become huge. Since Google rewards pages with rich content, consider adding videos to your pages. Here is an example for one of my client's webpage who added a short video to one of his pages to help visitors reset their storage heater, which is a common problem. Since the video was published on YouTube and YouTube is able to automatically transcribe it, you can imagine there's a link made between the page and the video. Also, since this video was published on YouTube, it clocked over 20,000 views and is now the number one result for the keyword reset storage heater. Not bad exposure for a local electrician. If you find video making a little too daunting, then photos can still work very well. You can either use flat images or more interactive ones, which are my preferred option. Don't forget to add related keywords or synonyms to the ones you are targeting in the description of the images. Add testimonials or reviews to your pages. I know what you might say, testimonials can be easily faked, which is true. That's why when I use them, I always make sure I can add proof they are genuine. How? I just ask some of my clients if they'd be willing to provide a photo of themselves along with the testimonials which I can integrate directly on my page. As part of the testimonials, I also link to their website so if anyone is having doubt these are real people, they can easily check by visiting their site. Alternatively, consider using video testimonials too. I think they are even more powerful. Once again, here is an example my client used on one of his pages which provided yet another chance to create additional keyword rich content. Include case studies. Case studies offer a number of benefits including increased trustworthiness with web visitors and increased conversion rates. To be effective at building trust with potential clients, your case studies need to have a compelling narrative about how your product or service helped someone else in real life. You need to show how the person's life was different after. Do you offer formal assurance that what you promise to deliver, whether it's a service or a product, will be fulfilled, if not repaired or replaced? If you do, add it to your page. Guarantees of any form provide customers with peace of mind and also give them an opportunity to get things straight with you if they are not satisfied. FAQs have become a key piece of content to add to any of your web pages for many reasons. 
First, they are easy to create. Just listen to the most common questions your customers ask. Second, Google is integrating more and more of this type of content directly in its results, some of which could be coming from your website, giving you more visibility. Third, if you implement them right, they will show up directly in Google search results right under the title of your page. Has your business received an award, trophy, or accolade for one of the services you provide, which are worth mentioning? Include them on your page as it will convey further credibility. Adding examples of some of the work you've done locally will do three things. First, it will reassure visitors you are truly a local business. Second, it's a chance to showcase what you can do. Third, you can add some hyper location keywords within the copy, giving your page even more relevance to the area you want to be found for. Whenever you can, consider adding prices to your pages so visitors can anticipate costs and make an informed decision on the spot to call you or not. I personally find it very irritating when I can't see prices on a page and tend to jump to a competitor's website to at least get some idea around costs. These content creation tips should help you craft some killer pages and help you climb all the way to the top of Google. For best results, try implementing as many of these as you can and include the keywords you want to rank for in the content itself. There is one more piece of content you should consider very carefully when building your pages to sway the Google algorithm in your favor, which deserves its own chapter. Ninety percent of the information transmitted to our brain is visual and processed 60,000 times faster than text. That's why images are an essential piece of content to add to any given page. Images highlight important information and trigger emotional reactions. How does this one work for you? And they also help convince your visitors they should choose your business instead of your competitors. But like everything else on your page, to get the best out of them, they need to be optimized. Just like the copy of your pages should be unique, so should your images. Stay away from stock imagery, especially the free ones from sites like pixabay.com. If you are using free images for your site, guess what? Many other businesses will do too, which will reduce your chances of ranking for relevant searches. Make sure the image files you are using are not too heavy. High quality images can really slow down the load speed of your pages, which will impact customer experience and in turn your rankings. You can easily reduce the size of any images using a free online image optimizer tool like Optimizilla. Don't forget to add an alt tag to every image on your page. For those of you who don't know, the alt tag is an HTML piece of code that is applied to an image and provides a text description of the image itself. It can positively impact your rankings. Just like the other HTML elements I have mentioned before, alt tags can easily be added to your images via your content management system. To find out if your existing pages are missing alt tags, use the SEO Minion Chrome extension I talked about earlier on. Click on the Analyze on-page SEO option. Scroll down to the Images section. SEO Minion will let you know how many images are on your page and which ones are missing alt tags. Go to your content management system to add them. For those of you who want to optimize your images a step further, use the Google Vision AI tool to select the most relevant pictures for your page. This tool enables you to find out how Google sees pictures. For example, this picture would be a very good choice for a dentist targeting dentist-related keywords as Google is 96% confident this is the picture of a dentist as opposed to this one where the accuracy drops to 86%. Based on this principle, whenever you can include images which contain recognizable local sites or landmarks like for this window cleaning company based in New York. By now you should have fully crafted pages made out of rich content, 100% optimized for the keywords you want to rank for, right? Almost. There are two more very important components you must add to them. Probably one of the most important on-page SEO factors, your title tag, also known as meta title. Not to be confused with the page header, your title tag appears in Google search results just above the description, but also when your page is shared on social media, for example. Because of where it appears on the web, the more compelling your meta title is, the more searchers are likely to click through to your website. 
The meta title of your page is an HTML element that is included in a source code of your page, which you can easily update via your content management system, such as WordPress, Wix, or other popular platforms. Here is the best way of creating an effective meta title. Make sure that each and every page on your site has a unique meta title. It should be between 50 to 60 characters long, otherwise it will be truncated in search results. Include the keywords and location you are targeting at the beginning of the title. Feel free to add other information or keyword modifiers to your title if you have room to make it as compelling as possible. Here is an example of what you could come up with for an HVAC specialist located in Detroit who is trying to rank for heating repair service in his own city. Best heating repair in Detroit, five star rated, free quotes. The meta description of your page is the little snippet of copy you can see right under a page title in search results and is used to describe the content of the page. Just like the meta title of your page, the meta description is an HTML element that needs to be updated via your content management system. It's as easily done as updating the meta title of your page and can be found in the same location. Although your meta description will not help your page rank higher in Google, if it's well crafted, it can be a very powerful way to entice searchers to click through to your website. This is what I recommend you do when writing a description for your page. Make sure it is under 150 characters, otherwise it will be cut off by Google. Include your targeted keywords as they will get bolded in the description when someone is searching for them. Try including a call to action such as find out more or claim your coupon now so people will want to click on the link. Add power words that can emotionally influence searchers. Sticking with our Detroit HVAC specialist, here is an example of a description that could work well for their heating repair page. Fast, responsive, qualified heating repair specialist in Detroit. Get a free quote today. No hidden charges, no call out fees. We clean when we're done. To make your life easier, you might want to use a search engine results simulator like this one and check the elements we've just covered all at once. Your URL, your page title, and your description. It will allow you to check exactly what searchers see and make corrections if necessary. That's it, you're all done. You've built your pages and published them on your site. So now what? Well, there is one last thing you need to do to help them climb the Google rankings. Once you've created and published your pages on your website, you need to help them rank. One of the easiest and most effective ways of doing this is to use internal links. If you're new to SEO and I'm not sure what an internal link is, here is a brief explanation. An internal link is any link from one page on your website to another page on your website. It can be a link from your main navigation bar, your website footer, but also within the content of your pages. These are known as contextual links. These links help your visitors find related content on your site, but will also be used by Google to find and index your pages. The more internal links you have pointing to a given page, the more important that page becomes in the eyes of search engines and the more value it is given to it. You can even match your internal link anchor text with the exact keyword you are targeting to provide Google with more context and help the page you link to rank higher for the service you provide. Google even recommends you do this in its search engine optimization starter guide. For example, this dentist located in Miami and ranks for many keywords, uses this strategy extensively across all of his pages, which I'm sure helps him a great deal to rank for lots of keyword in search engines. So if you're not using internal links yet on your website, make sure you do. Include them everywhere you think might be relevant it will help enormously. If you followed all the steps I have described throughout this video, you will achieve great results, but don't rest on your laurels. Optimizing your content to rank higher and for more keywords so you can attract more customers shouldn't be a one-off exercise. Add even more pages to your website to target niche keywords. For example, if you're a plumber, creating a detailed page for boiler repair is great, but consider writing additional pages to talk about specific boiler brands since people will be searching for them too. 
If you are disciplined and stick to this process, it is just a matter of time before your site starts ranking for hundreds of keywords. SEO is not an exact science and you'll all be moving at different paces. Your page rankings may be moving in the right direction, but not as fast as you want them to. To find out if your efforts are paying off, I suggest you log into your Google Search Console, if you have installed it, that is, and monitor the performance of your newly created pages to find out if they have started to rank for some of your targeted keywords. This should be a good indicator you haven't wasted your time. You might just need to wait a little while longer. Pay attention to your analytics too. If you start ranking for more keywords, you should see an uplift in the number of visits to your site and the newly created pages. Alternatively, if you have the budget, subscribe to a tool like Ahrefs, which will pick up on the progress of your site and the number of keywords you rank for regularly. That's it for today guys, as always I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and until next time happy marketing.